Another day, another new handful of revelations filling in our understanding of how President Trump, his associates, and his administration have been interacting with Ukraine. What was President Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, doing in that Eastern European country? What did the president know about the government whistleblower complaint, and when did he know it? Here with me to walk through yet another day of developments is our White House correspondent, Yamish Alcindor. So hello, Yamish. Hi. Much to follow, as always. So we did learn more today about Rudy Giuliani's involvement, dealings in Ukraine. What are we learning? The key thing is that people often say you need to follow the money. And in this case, both the Washington Post and the New York Times say they followed Rudy Giuliani's money to, to show that he was trying to really negotiate a lucrative consulting deal with the with the government of Ukraine while he was at the same time urging the top prosecutor there to look into Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. So what we know is that through documents, Rudy Giuliani was negotiating up to at least $200,000 to be paid by the Ukrainian government to do work that would have essentially been him looking into whether or not Ukraine had stolen money that somehow then ended up overseas. Rudy Giuliani says that he looked at this deal, that he agrees that this was something that he was looking into, but he says that ultimately he said, this was a conflict of interest. I thought it would look bad, and I never made a penny off of this. Why this is important is because what we see is Rudy Giuliani pressuring, essentially, or making Ukrainian officials look into this claim that Joe Biden might have been a corrupt person right. operating in their country at the same time as he's actually trying to benefit financially from that. So this is a very, very big deal and something that people are going to continue to look into. And it, and it raises questions again, Yamish, about the relationship between Rudy Giuliani and the president. He's the president's personal lawyer. Lawyer, but what's happening in their relationship? Well, it's very interesting because the other thing to note is that this could be breaking the law. If Rudy Giuliani was operating in this way in Ukraine, he could actually have been looking into um, possibly not have not registering as a foreign agent here, and that is breaking the law because you would be essentially seeking to influence the United States government on the behalf of a foreign country. The other thing to note is that President Trump was answering questions about this, um, about whether or not he told Rudy Giuliani to do anything in Ukraine, um, and here's what he told Bill Riley. Bill O'Reilly, he's the former Fox News host. Well, you have to ask that to Rudy, but Rudy, I don't, I don't even know. If, I know he was going to go to Ukraine, and I think he canceled the trip. Uh, but, you know, Rudy has other clients other than me. Yeah. I didn't direct him, but he, 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 is a, he is a warrior. Rudy's a warrior. Rudy went, he possibly saw something. But you have to understand, Rudy has other people that he represents. No, I know it. Some people see this as the president trying to put some distance between himself and his personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, even though a number of officials have said that President Trump leaned on Rudy Giuliani to try to pressure Ukraine for this money. The other thing to note is that Rudy Giuliani at one point said that he had insurance on President Trump right. in case he tried to throw him under the bus. But he has since said that this was him being sarcastic. His lawyer, though, has said that he told Rudy Giuliani to call the president to reassure him that he was not trying to say anything that would upset their relationship. But I want to read a quote to you from Rudy Giuliani because he's really trying to make sure that he's defending the president and in the president's good graces. He tweeted today, reality check, Democrats have now issued more subpoenas than they have had bills signed into law. Their focus is not on bettering the lives of everyday Americans. It's about protecting their seats and remaining in power. And that, Judy, is really Rudy Giuliani echoing the president's complaints about this. Yeah, so much, uh, to, so much interesting there to follow. But uh, Yamish, separately, there was some reporting today about when President Trump learned of that government whistleblower's complaint. And, and what do we know about that? We long knew that White House officials were facing pressure from Congress and from reporters to release this $391 million in military aid to Ukraine. What we now know, based on the reporting by The New York Times, is that the president was briefed on the, on the whistleblower's complaint some two weeks before that military aid was released. And why that's really important is because the president told the EU ambassador, the European Union ambassador, Gordon Sondland, that he didn't want any sort of quid pro quo when they were talking before the money was released. And this timeline essentially shows that the president said this after he knew that there was a whistleblower complaint that was talking specifically about a quid pro quo. The other thing to note is that the White House has really had this defense that everything was okay because Ukraine got the money and the presidents of Ukraine and the United States eventually met. What we know now is that that aid, again, was released because the president knew about, or at least was in part because the president knew about the whistleblower complaint. The other thing to note is the White House meeting never actually happened. The two presidents met on the sidelines of the, year of the United Nations, but 
the president of Ukraine has yet to ever come to the White House and get what would really be a very diplomatic and big welcoming at the White House. That's much different than a sideline meeting. Coveted invitation. Yes. Thank you, Yamish. Thanks.